Welcome back to the show. So you're planning a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day and you need some help. Well, celebrity chef Rob Gale has some great tips to wow your loved one in the kitchen. And yes, we need that on Valentine's. How are you doing today? I'm great. Yourself? Happy Valentine's Day. I'm doing great. What are we cooking here today? The, well, this is probably something we can do on Valentine's Day, right? Oh, most definitely. This is going to okay. be something that's going to be quick and easy. And anyone could do it. All right. Anyone could do it. This is something that we do at the restaurant. It's a big seller. And talking about the restaurant, Chef Rob's Caribbean Cafe and Upscale Lounge, right? Yes, that's located in the heart of Sandy Springs. Okay. Been around for about nine plus years. And we're going strong. Great. So, you know, we're out in the streets, we, uh, we're doing the right thing, and we in, in invite people to the restaurant to see what we do over there. All right, fantastic. I need some ideas. So what do we do? Well, this is something that we feature in post-Valentine Day. This is uh, the Tuesday after Valentine Day, which is the 17th. We're going to be inviting a bunch of people to come over, couples Great. and just, you know, regular people. So what, this is one of the features that we're going to have. This is the appetizer. This is going to be the saute crab fingers okay. and the white wine butter sauce okay so start up here and so uh, what I'm going to show you the, the, the goal is whenever you saute and always want to high, have high heat low fat so whenever you see your pan is smoking like that mm -hmm. that's the key so what you want to do you want to add your crab fingers oh. once your crab fingers is in you hear that nice here mm -hmm. that means that it's sauteing that means that it won't stick to the pan start smelling good right away uh, already it? immediately <laughs> immediately so once that's sauteing up what you want to do of course you actually want to add your white wine Okay. You don't want to use a premium bottle, you know, white wine. You can just use a regular house wine. <laughs> okay. So, Save that expensive stuff. Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> For a liquid diet, right? There you go. Okay. Then what you want to do, you want to add a little bit more of the Chef Rob's secret ingredients right here. Uh-oh. A little bit of chopped parsley. That never hurts. Okay. You want to saute it up a little bit. You think you could do that, Adam? Yeah, I think I can do uh, that. Let's try that. All right, let's see here. Right. Is it hot? Yep. Oh, yeah. Always hot. <laughs> yes, it is. It's always hot. Let me see if I can flip a little bit here. There you go. There you go. Well, you know, I've got a little <laughs> bit of a rookie here. <laughs> all right. You get it to flip as well as you did. Well, beautiful. It's all in the, it's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. So what you want to do, you want to just add a little bit of white wine. So you want to deglaze it. Okay. So once it's deglazed, you add a little bit of uh, clam juice right here. I'm going to turn this fan down here a little bit so okay. we can get a good uh, look at it. There we go. Okay. So while that is uh, breaking down, is the glazing, you want to add some whole butter. You, know, oh. you can never go wrong with no. butter. No. Never go wrong with butter. <laughs> so once the butter is being, um, um, is being cooked down, you want to okay. add a little bit more seasoning. And you kind of adjust it as you go. All right. How so, long do you actually leave it here hot cooked like this? Well, this dish should take you about uh, two minutes max. Two minutes, okay. Max. So you could do this at, at, at home. As long as you have all the right ingredients, it, it's, it's a snack. Okay. So is there anything I'm looking for to know my two minutes is up or just kind of keep track of the well, time? Well, when you're dealing with seafood, seafood yeah. doesn't, take, uh, it's, it it's doesn't take a long time. To no, cook it doesn't. At all. And these are crab fingers. So actually... But Valentine's Day is real sexy for you and your spouse or your significant other. You can actually feed each other with these oh, crab fingers. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So this is, you know, real okay. special for Valentine. I made sure I thought about this. Well, that's okay. See? So, Very nice. Yeah, this is real quick, real easy. And then you could also adjust the flavor as you go. If you need a little bit more kick, you could add a little bit more kick to it. So this is... You know, give it a little spice, maybe. Oh yeah, most okay. definitely. Yeah, most that's definitely. that's me. I but like this that. Is, but this is the end product. This is this is fast, it's quick, it's easy. Um, anyone could do it. How long have you been a chef? I've been a chef. I graduated CIA back in 1992. Mm. So I've been in the restaurant business almost 30 years. Did you cook with other celebrities as well? Well, I worked for Sean Puff Daddy Combe for really? four years. Did uh, you actually, really? uh, he was sent me down from New York in 1999, where I opened up Justin's. In Buckhead, about so you were in Justin's. So yeah, I was chef executive there. chef. At yeah, Justin's. it's a great yeah. spot. I dined there as well. Yes, yes. At yes. one point, and so, well, that's fantastic. So obviously, you've you've got some credibility. Oh yes, if oh these, yes. You know, these celebrities are uh, turning to you, right, to, to prepare good meals. So that's really good. Oh yeah, so, I mean, it's so mind blowing sometimes. Excellent. We're going to take a look here. Uh, also, we, we should have a, a full screen here in just a moment with some details about your cooking class. Okay. Uh, that's coming up on Tuesday, right? Yes. The, there uh, you the go. February seventeenth. February seventeenth. Uh, right there at 5920 Roswell Road, Sandy Springs, Georgia. And that's uh, Valentine's Cooking Class with Chef Rob Gale. 
of course, at your restaurant, Chef Rob's Caribbean Cafe and Upscale Lounge, right? Yes. Great. And anyone's invited. You go online to sign up, or what's the deal? Yes, you could go online, or you could call the restaurant. You can make the reservation, or you could just uh, pop in. I want to try one of these. Can pop I go ahead and dive in? Oh, yes. All right. I'll put one up on the plate for you. All righty. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's grab a plate some here. Plate. This will work? No, you can leave it there. Oh, leave it there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to burn <laughs> you. Good enough. You want to make and sure you can you just, I mean, is this something you just pick up, finger food kind of thing, or is it better? Oh, yes, yeah, you just grab it with your fingers, okay. and you just, you know, you just pull it off. Okay, so I can grab, like, right here. There you go. Mmm. Yeah, it's tasty. It's also got a nice kick to it, like you said. There you go. Yeah, and I'm, I'm big on the spice and adding that into it. Very good. Yeah, so like and I said. I mean, that, we did that in what, like? Two I, minutes. Yeah, two, two minutes. minutes. Like, I, like I, I said, the said. key is always, you know, high heat, low fat. Okay. You know, you high heat, and you can get it out real fast. Not when you said high heat, obviously that was the smoke that we were seeing first, exactly. right? Exactly, precisely. Okay, and then you said low fat. Low fat is low on the grease. Okay. Yeah, olive oil or oil, canola oil. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great My job. Pleasure, Delicious stuff here. I Thank can't you. wait. Thank During you. the break here, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. You're going to enjoy it with me, too? Of course. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> right. I know the crew is waiting for some awesome. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Great idea right there for you which I think you'll enjoy. Stay with us. Come up here on Public Affairs on Peach when we come back. The gift of love that keeps on giving. How the Build-A-Bear workshops are teaming up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to give back in a big way. This is really special. Right after the break here on Public Affairs on Peach.